liit ko pala. Wait lang. Ready, set, go. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Sofia Santos and today we are going to do a little bit of painting and a lot of talking because we have a special guest. So, this is my cousin, and aside from being blood-related, we also study in the same university. Hi, I'm Alonso Toscano, and I'm an incoming speech-language pathology student in USD. What do you mean, incoming? I mean... I'm going to be enrolled in a few days. Instead of doing a productive college vlog, we are going to be painting and talking about college. If you guys didn't know, I'm also from USD and I am a third year student studying behavioral science. We are going to attempt, attempt to recreate this painting. I'll put it right here. And so dulo makita nyo kung sino mas magaling sa mga paint. Okay, ready? <laughs> okay, so for the first segment of this video, <laughs> uh, let's talk about expectations versus reality. Because for me, alam ko for sure na. Iba yung expectations ko when I was a freshman and iba din yung expectations niya when she was a freshman. I now, I mean. <laughs> Sa akin, yung pinaka malaking gap between expectation versus reality na na-experience ko is when it comes to people and my classmates. Sa mga college movies like Mean Girls, kanyan, yung pinapakita nila lagi ko na nasa canteen tapos magkakahiwalay yung mga tao. And I really expected na I'll have a hard time making friends. But then, after a few weeks, I realized na sobrang iba pagdating sa college because lahat tayo pare-parehong gusto makahanap ng kaibigan. <laughs> more and more, na-realize ko na it's really easy to make friends when you try and attempt to actually talk to people. How about you? Actually, ngayon, ang expected ko sa mga kaklase ko, parang <laughs> konyo eh, yung atag. <laughs> Talaga? With expectation uh, uh, or reality? Expectation. Ah, okay. <laughs> and reality. Pero ka. Pero ka. I mean, alam mo yung cool sila Pero taglish, pero cool. Pero hindi yung kona na, hey, para brood dude. Ako kasi, honestly, yung confession ko is, Kaya hindi ako naglasal kasi ayaw ko sa konyo. <laughs> like, yun talaga yung isa sa... Isa sa reason ko kung ba't di ako naglasal noon. Kasi, feeling ko hindi ako mag-fit in sa mga konyo na may yaman, <laughs> Tapos, sa USP, for me ha, like, yung view ko sa USP is mapagkumbaba. <laughs> Pero totoo, may mga konyo din talaga. And yun yung isa sa ma-realize mo sa college eh. Lahat ng stereotypes, it's just stereotypes. Like, you will meet every type of person in college, no matter where you are, it's sa Sal or sa USP. Meron ka talaga makakilala. Ay, at saka ano pala? Culture shock. Naku-culture shock ka na ba ngayon? Kahit online lang. Oo, kasi parang yung mga yung pinanggalingan ko. Ang tawag namin, sections. Ah, uh, tapos ngayon yung blocks. Ang tawag sa teacher, teacher, mm -hmm. miss. Pero yun pala dito parang prof, tapos principal, tapos dean. Or second question. Meron ka bang gustong pag-usapan tungkol sa admission process? Sa setup na yun, sobrang stressful kasi like, nung may tests, syempre may basihan ka ba't di ka pumasa. So, pag di ka pumasa, for example, call entrance exam, pag di ka pumasa, ikaw yun, that's on you. Uh -huh. Kasi, siguro, di, ka, di mo lang na-get some questions or something. Pero like, sa admissions ngayon na online, like, hindi mo ma-blame yung sarili mo kasi grades mo from your high school life, yung pagbabasya nila. Eh, syempre, siguro, even though you think na I worked hard for my grades, parang magugulat ka na, ha, hindi pala, hindi pala enough yung mga paghihirap ko sa grades. Okay. So, nakaka-stress siya kasi yung expectations mo, ang hirap i-manage kasi hindi mo alam yung mga nangyari. I mean, siguro may pros and cons talaga okay. with having to take an entrance exam sang set setup na yun na i-check lang yung grades mo before. Kasi, yung entrance exam, meron ka talaga, like, kaya mo talagang i-adjust yung mindset mo na, ah, okay, kailangan ko na mag-review. Okay, oh. this is it. I have to actually study. Pero sila, walang ganon. <laughs> walang chance mag-review. Oh. Walang chance na this is it. Tsaka yung parang yung burden is nasa past self mo, which you can't really control anymore. So, I can only imagine the anxiety. 
Anong advice mo sa mga nahihirapan pa rin hanggang ngayon na pumili ng school? Pumili ng school or kaya ng course ka rin? Valid naman yung feeling na may uncertainty sa admissions ngayon. And if hindi kayo makapili ng university, na coming from a big four, na yung parang papasok ako sa big four, sinasabi ko sa inyo na it's not everything. Hindi, the big four, yeah, it would look good on your resume, ganyan, sabi nila. Pero, in reality, hindi nagmamatter yun kasi what if yung happiness mo wala na ba doon? So, wala rin kwenta yung college mo kung pipilit mo sa big four. So, um, find a college na nagsispecialize talaga doon sa course mo. Actually, it's such a big lie when people say na yung university mo is the biggest factor when it comes to like finding jobs. It doesn't really matter. I mean, it matters to a point because mas makikilala ka nila. No? But it really all boils down to you. Kung gaano mo ka ayos i-present yung sarili mo, kung gaano mo ka ayos i-pakilala yung sarili mo. Nung galing ako sa school, hindi lang kami like siguro nasa hundreds lang yung bilang ng school sa batch natin. Mm -hmm. So like you can see everyone. Parang kilala mo lahat. Tapos like, ngayon, feeling ko sobrang liit. Parang... Talaga? Oh my gosh. Yan din pala sa... Yan din yung isa sa pinaka biggest real realization ko na sobrang liit ko pala. O marirealize mo talaga na sobrang liit mo and sobrang rami mo pang hindi alam. Uh -oh. When it comes to people, ganyan. Back in high school, na like, hindi mo talaga may iwasan yung feeling na i-judge ka. Hindi ako makasala sa mga events kasi natatakot ako na i-judge ako ng friends ko. Makikita ko ng friends ko. Lahat kasi kilala, kilala mo, ganyan. Pero sa college, wala talaga. Kaya mo maging bibo and no one will care. Honestly. Okay, next thing I want to talk about is pag-usapan natin kung ano yung magiging different between face-to-face -face classes and online na may experience mo. First, Hindi mo may experience yung sobrang hirap mag-transpo, mag-commute, kumbaga. Honestly, nung freshman ako, hindi ako napagod sa klase, napagod ako sa commute. I mean, even if sinusundo ako minsan, yun sa mga days na hindi ako sinusundo, sobrang pagod. Pagdating ko sa bahay, tulog ako agad. Actually, yun din kinakatakot ko yung commute. Mm. Pero syempre masarap din mag-drama-drama sa commute. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> Pero hindi na masaya pag late ka na. Oo. Uh, uh, siguro yun din yung isa, ko pa sa, isa pang expectation ko before. Na I, I thought I was gonna be super independent. Na I'm gonna enjoy being alone, riding the UV, tapos magdadrama ako na ako nung isa nakatingin sa labas. Gusto ko palaging tawagan sila Daddy Larry. Daddy pa sundo, please. <laughs> Ganun ako lagi. Siguro nagiging culture shock na naman kapag bumalik yung face to face. Kasi... Yeah, it's... Sobrang iba na naman nun, for sure. Good luck to us, Freshies! <laughs> Want tayo yung clouds ko? <laughs> okay, paint update. This is what mine looks like. Pakita mo yun. <laughs> Patingin ako! So moody yung clouds, guys. <laughs> oh my goodness. Anyway, now let's talk about study habits. Ito na, ito, pag-aaral. <laughs> Kung ano yung in-enroll talaga natin, puro tayo experience. <laughs> <laughs> do you do you feel like you have study habits that you you want to leave behind high school? Yeah. What are those? Tell me about them. Alam mo mga mga kaklose ko na ang quote ko sa during online class is if tomorrow is not the the due date then today is not the due date. <laughs> like literal, bukas pa saan? Hindi. O sige, di ko muna gagawin. Oh my god. Bukas pa saan? Oo, sige, gagawin ko mamaya. Di ba, like, may suggestions na parang per week, gradually mo siyang gagawin. No, it never works for me. Kasi, ang mangyayari is... Really? Oti-oti lang. For example... Have one... you tried? Yeah, I tried. Okay. I mean, I guess we all have our own ways. If that works for you, then great. If it continues to work for you, then even better. But honestly... When it comes to college, ang magiging problema mo kasi is yung workload. Unlike before, na kaya mo talagang i-dedicate yung araw na to for this big project. Ngayon, yung mga professor mo, magbibigay ng mga due dates na sabay-sabay, tapos lahat sila malalaki. So if i-kakram mo lahat by the end of the day, you won't have enough time. And, so college ko rin natutunan na time management is key because you also have to take care of yourself. You also have to take breaks. And, you have to take those two things into consideration whenever you're doing your stuff. 
skin. Pero I wish you luck. Kung dadana yun sa iyo future, okay. Go with me. Ayoko na rin naman siyang gawin kasi like, Sawan na so 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 sawan na rin siguro ako sa high school kasi 6 years. Kasi <laughs> so, pinakita ko nga sa kanya yung schedule ko. Sabi niya, "Anda mo, anda mo ng unit." Kasi like compared sa nung freshman ako, mas marami talaga siyang units compared to me. And siya hindi siya nagulat, parang normal lang sa kanya 'yon. Pero kasi parang sanay na ako na na full day yung may subject. So tas ngayon, nagulat ako na may araw kami na all day lang yung subjects yeah, na. Yeah, that's gonna that's one of the different differences ng high school and college is yung schedule mo mag ano talaga siya, iba-iba talaga siya and may times din na yung professor mo hindi a-attend professor mo sabihin bukas na lang ganun uh, yeah. oh, looking forward to my professors <laughs> <laughs> gusto ko nang give up <laughs> uy wag ka mag give up content natin yan Sige, dadrawingan ka lang ako ano ba bang pwede yung Ano, let's talk about your course naman, since you're so passionate about explaining. Bakit mo pinili yung course mo? First, mo na, ano muna yung course mo? My course is Speech Language Pathology. Mm -hmm. Para kang nag-fix sa mga speech errors or um, speaking errors sa mga tao. Siguro noon, sabi ko, parang gusto ko maging doktor, ganyan. Mm -hmm. So, like, nagahanap ka ng pre-med. Yung mga sci super science -y, na mga biology, biochemistry, parang I I thought they weren't for me. Lalo na chemistry. No, it's not. For me. <laughs> Same. <laughs> Kasi nakita ko yung rehabilitation sciences, physical therapy, occupational therapy, speech pathology. Tapos parang nakita ko na feeling ko is for me. Oh, nakita ko yung sarili ko. Kasi if you know me, I'm usually the old, the one speaking, parang ganon. Like me too. May problema din ako sa pagsasalita, like my list. So, yun. So, parang wow, so learning about speech pathology, parang may nag-spark sa akin na parang mm -hmm. maganda tong course kasi it's really for me. Can you give ano, advices on how to pick a course for you? Kung ano yung mga factors na kinonsider mo and stuff and how they can use it? May mga, may mga tao na parang ito yung set of abilities nila, set of experiences, set of uh, talents, ganun. Tapos bigla yung kukunin course nila sobrang opposite sa kung ano yung talents nila, yung mga nakasaray nila. Which is, depende sa'yo kung uh, kung gusto mo na parang yung entirely something new. Eh di bagay sa'yo yung ganun. Like, inisip ko muna kung ano ba yung gusto ko? Ano ba yung parang talents ko? Ano ba yung interest ko. Tapos, doon ko dinecide na parang, ah, okay, parang I want to be at a med. Mm, Oo. So, basically, when it comes to picking a course, yung factors na kailangan mo i-consider is first, kung nasa yung skill set mo, kung ano yung na-develop mo na it's it's a good idea to take advantage of that. And second, I mean, second is, i-plot mo, para subgroup mo yung course sa gusto mo. Like, for example, ako nga, inisip ko muna anong general muna, med, media, ganun, arts, ganyan. So, huwag kang mag-pinpoint ng course agad. Like, pero, if if may pinpointed course ka, why not? Pero if you're the type of person na hindi ka pa sure kung anong course gusto mo, i-generalize mo muna. Kasi pag masyado kang malapit tumingin, like, yun nga, yung may course ka na agad, Parang na, na close na yung eyes mo sa ibang course yeah. na pwede ka pala. And sa akin naman, ang pinaka-important na factor is research talaga. Kasi ako, I I, I felt I feel like I did that. Yung sinasabi mo na huwag mag... not to look too close into it kasi ma... Baba, like, mabibigyan mo yung sarili mo ng boundaries na ayaw mo namang andun. I, like, for me, yung course na gusto ko talaga for so long is psychology. And since walang AB psychology sa USD, I was forced to take down those boundaries and to research. Like, pag nag-research ka, sobrang raming pang opportunities, sobrang raming courses na para sa'yo talaga that will speak to you. Moving on to our third segment, let's talk about experiences. I can talk about my memorable experiences and you can talk about, what will you talk about? Or kaya, Experience right now. Oo, pwede rin. Ako muna experience ko. When it comes to like being a Tomasian, ang pinaka-memorable talaga for me is yung orientation. Mm. Bakit? <laughs> Oo nga. 
Kasi... Nasa gym yun, di ba? First of all, doon ko nakilala yung mga friends. Nakaklose ko pa rin until now. Ang first stage kasi of orientation is pupunta muna kayo sa classrooms. No? Tapos oh. magsama-sama lahat ng ka-course mo. Tapos mag-prepare kayo ng mga costume kasi usually for the first march. Day uh, first so, day yun. So, wala pa kayo, wala pa kayo prepared na... Wala talaga. Like, as in, papasok ko doon ng wala kang alam. <laughs> Ganun yung mangyayari. Tapos, yung mga leaders, yung mga higher ups. Naka-uniform ba kayo? Oo, mm-hmm. naka-uniform. Like, magbibigay sila ng mga costume kami, Harry Potter kami nun. So, may mga glasses kami, may mga ah, star kami. Ah, kaya pala. Oo. Tapos, may mga teams kasi per college. And then after that, magmamarch. Um, tatawid ka dun. Anong tawag dun sa art? Tatawid ka art dun this, sa art. art this arc of the centuries. Doon. Tapos... Gawin pa sa alam ko ba? <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> Actually, sabi nila, is yung pagtawid mo daw sa art na yun is dapat solemn. <laughs> like, ganun-ganun. Pero hindi Legit na... ba? Oo daw. Pero ang ginawa namin, tumakbo kami talaga. Feeling ko gagawin ko doon. Feeling ko pa nag... nag like, feeling ko pa, talaga kami. Feeling ko, papakiram naman ko yung bulong ng art. <laughs> Mga fathers. <laughs> Papakinya kami mga fathers above. Dominican oh my gosh. <laughs> so after that, diretso kami sa gym. Tapos, nag-perform yung pep squad. Nag-perform yung mga... Anong tawag yung mga... Ta- oh my gosh, wala na talaga ako kaya. Sunny Gawi Dance Group? Oo, nag-perform sila. Lahat ng mga UST na kilala na performing etch. Kasi laging may mass. You can expect that sa so UST. Laging may mass. Every time na may event, may mass muna sa <laughs> so, simula. Ikaw, what's your most memorable experience so far? Sa mga orientation? Um, feeling, feeling ko, on the top of my head, yung pinaka-memorable is yung nakapasok ako sa Minecraft, USD Minecraft. Wow! <laughs> Kasi, like, habang... Buti na lang mahilig ka sa USD oh, nung, Minecraft. Tin, nung nakapasok ako sa USD Minecraft, parang na-imagine ko tuloy na what fun could, that, could it have been. Kasi yung orientation namin, medyo hindi ko na-feel eh. Kasi mm-hmm. parang live lang siya. Uh-oh. So like, hindi, hindi, hindi talaga siya ramdam. Mm-hmm. Pero late, um, yun nga, feeling ko yung magiging pinaka-best memorable ko is yung mangyayari pa lang. Which is parang mm-hmm. get-together nga. What are you most excited for? Mag-get-together kayo? Ata. <gasps> yeah. That's so fun. Like, yun nga, it, like, Nung start ng ano, parang gusto nila agad mag movie night. Okay. Ay, yun yung time na unsure pa ako mm-hmm. sa UST. Pero enrolled na ako, so unsure pa. Gusto nila yung mag movie night, ganyan. Tapos medyo na sisters ako sa sarili ko kasi ayoko mo nang maging close. Oo, kasi ko baka umalis ka. Oo, ganyan. So, like, pinaka-excited ako is Paskuhan mm-hmm. and like all the events. Pero Paskuhan talaga kasi baka daw ko na mahanap si Forever. Oh my God! <laughs> Aside from Paskuhan, you can also look forward to Agape. That happens a day before Paskuhan. Yun yung, as in, buong school magpapakain. Like, free food for everyone. Tapos magpipila ka lang, tapos kung bibigyan na lang ng pagkain. Pero hindi ko yun na-experience. <laughs> Kaya hindi yung memorable. Hindi ka ba nakapagpaskuhan? Nakapagpaskuhan ako, pero yung Agape hindi. Bakit? Kasi nasa ibang bansa kami. Ang ano gusto kong egg, ang gusto kong... Um, sabihin, sabihin na, na nag-look forward ako sa orientation namin sa pag-face-to-face. Yeah, sana magkaroon yun ka, pa, eh. no? UST, baka naman. Sana, finally, pag-face-to-face na yun, lahat ng mga nakamiss ng orientation. Wait, I'm almost done. Tinatapos ko na. Oh my gosh, it looks nothing like it. Ano yung panamay sa akin? <laughs> Alam mo, maganda sa'yo yung sa baba, eh. Sa akin yung pangat ng baba. Okay, sige. Patulan natin. <laughs> okay, anyways. We're done. Let's show them. Guys, it's up to you to decide kung sino mas maganda. <laughs> um, pwede tingnan nyo lang yung galaxy. <laughs> Comment down below. <laughs> okay, that's it guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you to Zoe for Bye. giving me content. <laughs> Bye! Bye-bye. Over. One, two, three! Fuck it! yung nagbubuhat ng mga kaklase. Ah! <laughs> Kasi, bakit naman? Guys, nagbubuhat daw siya ng mga kaklase. Oh, hindi! Ako nga yung nagbubuhat nun eh. Ah! I mean, <laughs> hindi, hindi sanay, hindi, siguro like, Minsan nagbubuhat ka, na, minsan ito ang binubuhat. Hindi ko sasabi yung gano'n.